Hi friends, in this video you will get the solutions for module 2 questions of the model question paper. So first is to define a regular expression. Even one of my viewer had asked if this question is asked then what to be answered. So the regular expression over an alphabet summation are all and only the strings that can be obtained according to the following rules. First, null is a regular expression, epsilon is a regular expression, every element of summation is a regular expression. If alpha, beta are regular expressions, then alpha dot beta, that concatenation is also a regular expression, union is also a regular expression, and clean star or star closure is a regular expression. Alpha raised to plus is a regular expression and alpha in parenthesis is also a regular expression. So you have to write the complete definition of regular expression. Next question is to write a regular expression for the following languages. First language is a raised to 2n, b raised to 2m where n is greater than or equal to 0 and m is greater than or equal to 0. Let us see the possible solution, possible strings in this particular language. L is equals to, first if n and m both are 0, then we will get the first string as epsilon. Then if m is 0, then we will get and n is 1, a raised to 2, n is 0, m is 1, then b raised to 2. If both are 1, then a raised to 2, b raised to 2 and so on. So the regular expression obtained is, you can see here, a raised to 2n. So 2 is whole star because n is greater than or equal to 0 followed by b raised to 2m. m is greater than or equal to 0. So 2b is whole star. And if both are taken as star, then first string obtained is epsilon. So the regular expression for the language a raised to n, b raised to 2m is a a whole star, b b whole star. Next language is w where length of w mod 3 is equals to 0 over summation a b. Possible strings in this language are 0 mod 3. So first string is epsilon. Summation is a b. So if I have 3 a's, length is 3 mod 3 is equals to 0. 3 b's also length is 3 mod 3 is equals to 0. Similarly, a b a b a b length is 6, 6 mod 3 is equals to 0. So the string will be multiples of 3. So the regular expression will be first A union B. First symbol A union B. Second A union B. Third. So here either A or B 1, A or B 2, A or B 3. So the length is 3. If I take whole star of it, then first string is epsilon. Next time, if it occurs one time, then the length will be equal to 3. It can be ranging from a, a, a to b, b, b. Next, if this string occurs two times, then the length is equals to 6. If it occurs three times, then length is equals to 9 and so on. So finally, the regular expression for this language is a union b, a union b, a union b, full star. So let us see the next language of all strings over zeros and ones that has at least one pair of consecutive zeros. So possible strings in the language are two consecutive zeros before and after I may have any strings of zeros and ones. So the regular expression consists of two consecutive zeros before and after it can have any combinations of zeros and ones represented as 0 union 1 whole star 
after two consecutive zeros again a zero union one whole star so this is the regular expression for this language next Representing for strings of A's and B's having odd length can also be asked as the language consisting of all possible strings of A's and B's such that the length is odd. Possible strings in this language are string with length 1, A or B. Next, strings with length 3 starting from AAA to BBB all combinations next strings with length 5 and so on so the first string in this language is of length 1 which is a or b the regular expression for it is represented as a union b next from this string to this string, there is a difference of length 2. Again, from this string to this string, there is a difference of length 2. So, difference of length 2 is represented as A union B length 1, A union B length 2. Whole star represents may or may not. If it doesn't exist, length is equals to 1. If it exists for one time, then length is equals to 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. If it occurs for two times, then 1 plus 4 length is equals to 5 and so on. So the regular expression is A union B, A union B, A union B whole star. This can also be represented as A union B. This A union B, A union B whole star can be expanded as AA union AB union BA union BB whole star. So this is the regular expression obtained for strings with odd length. So next question is, to accept strings of A's and B such that third symbol from the right is A and fourth symbol from the right is B. So to start with from the right, first symbol there is no restriction so A union B. Second symbol again for second symbol also there is no restriction so A union B. Third symbol must be compulsory A from the right so third symbol is a a fourth symbol is a b fourth symbol is a b after that there may be any combinations of zero a's and b's so that regular expression is represented as a union b whole star so this is the regular expression obtained for this particular language so you may watch a video, consist, video lecture consisting of regular expressions for many more languages in this particular video. So next question from module 2 is to state and prove the pumping lemma theorem for regular languages. So this theorem already have explained in uh, the video lecture with uh, module 2 lecture 6 pumping theorem next question using Klin's theorem prove that any language that can be defined with a regular expression can be accepted by some fsm for that also uh, i have explained it in detail in the video of module 2 lecture 2 regular expressions to finite state machine Next question is to prove that the regular languages are closed under complementation and intersection. So this theorem is also explained with examples in the video lecture of module 2, lecture 5, closure properties of regular languages. These are the links given below. You can watch them. 
So next question is to prove that the language W, W raised to R, where W belongs to AB whole star, is not regular. So first let us assume that the language is regular and choose a string W is equals to A raised to K B is W and B A raised to K is W raised to R which belongs to this particular language and the length of W is greater than or equal to K. So you can check here W is A raised to K B B A raised to K. So total string length is 2K plus which is greater than k. So next, once we have selected the string, next is to divide the string into x, y, z with these two conditions. The conditions are length of x, y is less than or equal to k and y is not empty. And then we split w is equals to a raised to k, b, b, a raised to k as a raised to k minus 1 as x last a as y b b a raised to k as z so you can see here the length of x y is equal to a raised to k minus 1 plus 1 that is equals to a raised to k is equals to k and y is not empty as it has 1 a then according to pumping lemma W is equals to X, Y raised to Q, Z belongs to L for Q greater than or equal to 0. That is W is equals to A raised to K minus 1, A raised to Q, B, B, A raised to K belongs to L for K, Q greater than or equal to 0 according to pumping lemma. Let us consider case 1. If we take Q is equals to 0, if Q is equals to 0, then what happens? Y will be 0. That is, A will be empty. So, if A is not there, Y is empty, this A is not there, then we get the string as A raised to K minus 1, B, B, A raised to K, where W is no more equal to W raised to R. Hence, this string does not belong to the language L. Yeah. Take one more case if Q is equals to 2. Then Y is repeated twice. Y is repeated twice. Then this A will be 2 times. Then the string will be A raised to K minus 1. A raised to 2. That is A raised to K plus 1. B, B, A raised to K. So in this case also, the string W is not equal to W raised to R. Hence, this string does not belong to language L. This contradicts the proof that the given language W, W raised to R is not regular. Next question is to obtain an NDFSM for the regular expression a plus b whole star a b b it can also be represented as a union b whole star a b b so for this question we have to write the solution stepwise don't give the direct ndfsm solution for it that is first we need a a how do you represent a a uh, two states with a transition a similarly b two states with one transition B. Next, A or B, A union B, take one new state before and after, take one delta trans epsilon transition for A and B and from A and B back to the next state. This is A union B. Whole star, to represent whole star, again take one state before and after with epsilon transition. So if whole star, if star means the first string will be epsilon, so initial state will have an epsilon transition to the final state of A union B whole star. Or it may repeat. So or it may repeat is 
represented as A or B whole star with a self loop. So this much is the NDFSM for A union B whole star. Next, that regular expression must be concatenated with A. Then we must have an epsilon transition and from there we will have a A concatenated with it. Next, again a B to be concatenated. So again take an epsilon transition in between and then concatenate A with a B. At last we have one more B. Same way again add an epsilon transition and concatenate B with it. So no more expression obtained. So finally this state will be the final state. So this is the regular the NDFSM obtained for the regular expression with 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Totally 14 states where M is equals to K summation delta Q naught F. Yeah, where what is k? k is equals to q0 to q13. Initial state is q0, final state is q13. Then we are supposed to write the delta transitions. Summation is a comma b. And then followed by delta transitions. So this is the NDFSM obtained for the given regular expression all the best for the video student viewers for your exams and i request all the viewers who have not yet subscribed my channel to subscribe and i'll be waiting for your feedback and comments after your exams thank you